Yep. Today we are going to make the three duckling lure. You probably have seen a duck lure before, but have you seen a three duckling lure? If not, you have come to the right place. So in this video, I will show you how I designed the 3D duckling model in Fusion 360 and 3D print the model, assemble, paint, and do some finishing touch-up. We'll also see how it performs. So first thing first, let's use a quabble form for the head. If you are not familiar with the Fusion 360, I have another video that shows you all the features, well maybe not all but enough for you to uh, start designing your own lures or bait molds. Be sure to check it out. As you can see, I make the quabble symmetrical uh, because that way I can just move one side during the design. And also I put in the cheek for the head. I think all ducklings should have cheeks, they are cute. For the duck bill, I use two approaches. And first one is the solid freeform modeling. So basically, you started from a basic shape and then modified the edges, vertices, and faces to the final look, and like what we just did for the head. The second approach is the surface freeform modeling, where you start with a four sided face and then extrude the faces to form the rough shape of your design. There's a separate video that has more details about these two different approaches. I'll put the link in the description. Once we're happy with the result, we will move it to the right place. Here I enable the multiple views to better locate the eyeball position in 3D. Now we have the eye and nostril on one side. Let's do the mirroring and copy to the other side. And after that, I'll combine all the features into one object. Body is the same deal, quabble form. For the neck, I use a pipe form uh, because pipe form is uh, basically just like a thicker stick and also I can specify different diameters in different cross section. For the wings and legs, there are also pipe forms. So I work on the center plane and then move them out to one side and then do the mirroring to the other side. Again, you can see for the pipe form, you can change the diameters for different cross section, which will come in handy when you want different shapes. And I did not use any symmetry because there's no need. Now do the mirror operation for the other side. Here I start to combine everything. And when you combine objects, 
you will form joint lines between objects and you can use the fillet to smooth out that joint. Here I just want to add the fillet at the joint line between the legs and the body but uh, the joint line is interfered with the joint line between the wing and body so I have to remove that combine operation first for the wing and add the fillet for the leg and combine the wing in the end. For the duck feet, I try to simplify the design. So as you can see, I only focus on one side of the feet. And uh, I use pipe form for the feet and extrude a profile to form the web. And then I split the thing in half. And I will bring that to the slicer and duplicate and do the mirror in slicer. That way I will only need to have one STL file to manage. Here's the half of the duck feet design. I will do a temporary mirror to show you how it looks like in the full design. For the through wire, the idea is to carry the load from hooks to line tie through a stainless wire harness. Here I created a plan that will go through the line tie at the chest and the hook ties at the tip of the um, drumsticks. And then split the duck model using that plan. Then I sketch out the outline of the through wire, turn that into a pipe form. Then cut the pipe form out from the top and the bottom of the duckling model. Since I only plan to put hooks on the third duckling, the other two will just be decoy. So we just need the plain through wire that goes from the chest to the um, butt. I also need to cut the space for the feet hardware. Let's do a quick inspection. and it looks good. So in the slicer, first I bring in the half of the feet model and then I lay it flat on the bed and then make copies, flip uh, half of them Here I don't need the support, so I turn it off. For the duck model itself, we do need the support for the head and the beak overhand. Duck Feet Factory I paused the print and put in the BBs during the print and that's why there's a rattle sound So this is the first docking that I printed because I still have to figure out the weight balance so I cut it open and put in the BBs and add the hardware including the hooks then I throw it in water and adjust the number of BBs until it floats correctly and once I figure out how many BBs to use to make it float correctly, I then print the model again and add BBs during the print.
So after I glue them together, uh, I use sandpaper to smooth out the rough edges at the joints. So to connect the feet and the body, I made this uh, rotational joint type design uh, which will limit the side-to-side -side movement. So for the base color, I use yellow to cover everything and I also use some beige to tone down the uh, saturation a little bit. Well, you can still see the gap. I probably should stand a little bit more or use some filling material to fill the gap. I think after the paint scheme is finished, we shouldn't see that gap that much. For the brown, I only have light brown, so I add the black to make it darker. And I also use some red to bring the saturation back a little bit. I also add the thinner. Now the main color scheme is finished. For those details, I don't think my uh, airbrush skill is there yet. So I went ahead and uh, make a 3D stencil just for this. And I have another video, again, another video that shows all the details to make the 3D stencil. So if you are interested, you can check it out. Now the dog in the iron mask. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, I mean, I just need another mask or stencil to finish up the facial detail. And don't forget those duck feet.
those rotational joints work fine and you don't see the feet move side to side. I add some feather to the treble hooks just because. To connect the ducklings, I use a piece of 50 pound mono and uh, those aluminum sleeves to make the loops in the end. After that's done, I use the split rings to connect to the lures. So here's the final product. I think this should catch fish, but um, what's more fun than use one duck to fish? Yeah, three ducks. Because those weights in the body are still moving, so when the duck lands on the water, it's not very balanced. So I had to add more weights using the stainless wire on those feet. You can see those decoys are still not very balanced because of those moving weights. So that's something I have to uh, improve in the future. The main duck doesn't have that problem because the treble hooks are heavier. So when I cast, most of the time they will land properly, but um, sometimes one of them or two will land sideways. Uh, but if I just uh, twitch a little bit, they will come back right up. So for this three duckling lure, I will just do a slow retrieve. Maybe twitch here and there. And that will cause some side to side motion asynchronously. Hey, the middle one, wake up. Well, unfortunately, the cold front was just here and the fish were like nowhere to be found. So we will have to wait for next time. Let's just take this moment and enjoy this beautiful scenery. I will see you all next time. Peace. <laughs>